everybody, Anne here, and it is day three of my van life adventure. And if you watched yesterday, you will know that I got locked out of my van. I could not get back into my van with the one key that I was given by the seller and the door that I had left unlocked, I also was not able to open. So I figured I had just been locked out of my car, locked, you know, it's frozen shut or whatnot. So I had some conversations back and forth with some people about it, gave them a little information about the engine and whatnot. And their responses kind of gave me reason to worry. First of all, the van was advertised as a 2000 Ford E350. So that's reasonable, you know, not too bad, not too bad. But then I talked to somebody about what kind of engine I was told it was. It was a 300 straight six. Another guy answered back, God, I haven't seen those engines in years. And then we got to talking a little bit more about the keys. Well, you know what? After a certain year, they quit making one key for the ignition and one key for the doors. So I figured, God, something is up. So I did a little research on the Econoline vans and what engines they had and discovered that after 1990, they quit putting those kinds of engines in the Ford Econoline vans after 1997. Something just didn't sound right. Well, how could I have a 2000 Ford E350 with a 300i6 in it when they stopped making them after 1997? So I thought, holy shit. I went and got my registration. I looked at my title and lo and behold, it's a 1996, which is fine. I don't care. You know, I like older vehicles. I I wouldn't have cared if it was a 1984, just so long as the as it runs, it's got a good engine. It doesn't have a lot of rust on it. Um, all the parts are working and whatnot. Even if some of the parts aren't working, if you give it to me cheap enough, I'm gonna buy it anyhow and I will fix it. Well, for some reason, the guy lied. He told me it was a 2000. It is not, it is a 1996. So you know what, ladies, don't be stupid like me. I'm a, I'm a total dumbass. Seriously, I am. I'm naive. I don't know why people lie about stuff like that. Totally unnecessary. Well, I texted the guy to let him know that I know he lied and he hasn't gotten back with me. Anyway, so what I did today is I got a membership with AAA and I downloaded the app. Then I put in a request for a, you know, a service call to get me back into my vehicle. They told me that he was going to be there at like 11 minutes after 11. And as it turns out, he got there five minutes before 11 and he was done by 11.16. Made me two keys and they worked beautifully and I was so happy I wanted to give him a hug. In fact, I told him, you know, I'd hug you right now, but it would be weird. So I'll just give you money. So really already the fee that I paid for the yearly membership to AAA has been paid for. I just had to pay a little bit more on top of what AAA pays, you know, that was great. The guy left, I had keys and they work. So let's take a look and see if the key actually works. All right, day three van life. Had to call a locksmith. They made me some keys. Let's see if they work. Ah, they do. All right, let's see if I can get up into this beast. This is not going to be too graceful. Oh. Told you. It's this van sits pretty high. So let's see if the key that they made opens the door and starts the engine. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, it does. I was a little worried when I first started that up because it didn't sound like it was idling very good. But anyhow, it's idling fine now. Here's what it looks like from here. All right, check out this ceiling. Dear God Almighty, that is bad. I'm gonna have to rip it all out. But look at all the room. You know what, even though some of this has not been all that great, I don't like being lied to, it's all right. The floor is absolutely atrocious. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get rid of all of this carpeting. But yeah, those seats, I've already tested them. They come right out, they come out very easy. So this is it, my ugly, dirty van. But at least I can get into it and yeah, I'm so happy. 
that. So yeah, I can get into my van. I'm so happy. And here is a picture of the keys. The one on the left is the old key. The one on the right is the new key. You can tell that there's some stuff up here. Apparently the lower portion of the key starts the engine and the top part of the key just opens the door. So hooray. And you know what? I'm really, really happy that this is the engine that I've got. I've been doing a lot of reading and apparently it's a really, really good engine. It's practically indestructible. So I'm glad, you know, I don't care that it's an older vehicle. I really just don't care. But okay, I had to stop and come back. I got a phone call and guess who it was? It was the seller. He apologized for the mistake. He said his son is the one who puts up all the ads on Craigslist and went on and on and just very apologetic. And I explained to him, I don't even care. Dude, I don't even care. I don't care. I mean, I'm fine with everything. Just make sure that if your quote son, unquote, put something up on Craigslist the next time that he should probably make sure he puts the right year in there. But, uh, you know, he's very apologetic. I don't care. I don't care if he's still lying to me. I just assume that everybody's lying to me now, basically, because they just do. People can lie to me easy. They can look at me straight in the face and tell me a big fat lie and I will believe them. I don't know that that will ever change about me. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys. I'm really excited to get going on working on this van and you all have a good one.